Hello and welcome to another episode of Disney Movie Investigation. If this is your first time watching, welcome to the show. Each episode we take a look at a movie that is featured on Disney+. Plus. On this episode, we are taking a look at a biography movie as we take a look at Battle of the Sexes starring Emma Stone and Steve Carell. And stay tuned for our bonus story as we take a look at the history of the Disney Institute. And if you are enjoying these videos, I do ask you please hit that subscribe button. That way you'll be notified with each new video. Now, sit back and enjoy this episode of Disney Movie Investigation. Welcome back. So like I said, today we're taking a look at Battle of the Sexes. Uh, this movie was released on September 2nd, 2017, and it was directed by Valerie Ferris and Jonathan Dayton. It was written by Simon Beaufoy, and the production companies were TSG Entertainment, Decibel Films, and Cloud 8 Films. And it was distributed by Fox Searchlight Pictures. The budget was $25 million, and it did a box office return of 18.6. So in terms of the production, uh, this movie was announced with its two leads in April of 2015. For a brief time, Brie Larson was slated to replace Emma Stone because of scheduling conflicts, but that was quickly cleared up. Principal photography began on April 3rd, 2016 in Los Angeles. And for the tennis scenes, tennis players Kaylin Christensen and Vince Spada were the body doubles of Emma Stone and Steve Carell. The, the world premiere of the movie occurred at the Telluride Film Festivals, and then it was screened at the Toronto International Film Festival, and then the BFI London Film Festival before worldwide distribution. In terms of the cast, we have Emma Stone, who plays Billie Jean King, Steve Carell plays Bobby Riggs, Andrea Rosenbrow plays Marilyn Bennett, Sarah Silverman plays Gladys Heldman, Bill Pullman plays Jack Kramer, Alan Cumming as Cuthbert Tinling, Elizabeth Shue, who plays Priscilla Riggs, Austin Stonewall, who plays Larry King, Natalie Morales, who plays Rosie Casales, and finally, Fred Armisen, who plays Rio Blair. In terms of the plot, in the wake of the sexual revolution and the rise of the women's movement, the 1973 tennis match between world champion Billie Jean King and ex-men's champ and serial hustler Bobby Riggs was billed as the Battle of the Sexes and became one of the most watched television, televised sport events of all time, reaching 90 million viewers around the world. As the rivalry between King and Ki King and Riggs kicked into high gear, off court each was fighting a more personal and complex battles. The fiercely private King was not only championing for equality, but also struggling to come together with her own sexuality, as her friendship with Marilyn Bennett developed. And Riggs, one of the first self-made media age celebrity, wrestled with his gambling demons and at the expense of his family and friends. Together, Billy and Bobby served up a cultural spectacle that resonated far beyond the tennis court, sparking discussions in bedrooms and boardrooms that continue to reverberate today. Uh, so there's not a lot of trivia for this movie. It is kind of an independent style movie uh, that was um, kind of, it kind of flew under the radar for a lot of people. But in terms of recommending this movie, I think this movie was really enjoyable. Uh, the story really captures the audience and creates a tension that really builds. Um, I think the performances from Emma Stone and Steve Carell are amazing, um, and it really makes it, uh, it really encapsulates the audience into the story. Uh, the only negative is I wish we would have had a little bit more background on Bobby Riggs in terms of his tennis career, uh, as they kind of just tell the audience that he was an X-Men's champion. And you see that, obviously, throughout the training montages and stuff like that, but it would have been nice to see some kind of, like, um, pre-Bobby Riggs, uh, like when he was at his heyday. But uh, overall, it was... Uh, that's such a minor point. Um, overall, definitely recommend this movie as I, it's great to see a larger than life story that is based on true events done so well. So in terms of our, in terms of our bonus story, uh, we are going to be covering the Disney Institute. And the Disney Institute was a professional development and external training arm of the Walt Disney Company. 
The company showcased the business behind the magic through seminars, workshops, presentations, and showcases from different industries, including aerospace, government and military, food and beverage, and retail. In terms of the history, the site for the Disney Institute goes back to 1973 when Disney announced plans to create a residential community of Lake Buena Vista. The community was divided into four areas, golf, tennis, boating, and western. By May of 1974, 133 townhomes had been created along with a shopping center uh, called the Lake Buena Vista, Vista Village. It was announced that the plan was to create family home, apartments, and condos in the near future. 60 treehouse villas were built in October of that same year, but Disney would abandon the idea when they discovered that residents would have the right to vote on resort construction. In the 1980s, Disney would transform the villas into a hotel resort, starting with the construction of the Walt Disney World Conference Center. The resort, titled The Village Resort, was opened in 1985, but quickly changed to the Disney Village Resort in 1980. Sorry, the Village Resort was opened in 85. The Disney Village Resort was uh, transformed in 1989. The Lake Buena Vista Village also transformed into the Walt Disney World Village, and this is where, for to get an idea of where this is, this is where Disney Springs is located today. The villas were divided into several sections. Uh, so there were vacation villas, which were one to two bedroom lodgings. There were fairway villas, which were fairway villas, which were townhouses that overlooked Lake Buena Vista golf course, with energy efficient features such as double glazed windows. There were the treehouse villas, which are three bedroom octagonal villas the Club Lake Villas, which were convention attendance rooms, and there was the Grand Vista Suites, which were four single-family home uh, dwellings. In 1996, the villas became part of the created Disney Institute under the direction of Michael Eisner. The vacation villas became no known as townhomes, and the Club Lake Villas became known as the bungalows. The Institute offered 40 different courses with a range of three to a three day or a week long stay. The cost would range depending on the, how, the length of the stay from $429 to $1,310. The classes would occur in the renovated Walt Disney World Conference Center and the building had 28 program studios, a 225 seat performance center, a 1,150 seat amphitheater, a 400 seat cinema, and a closed circuit TV station called DITV, a radio station, WALT, Walt, as well as a sport and fitness center and a full service spa. Guests would also be able to eat at the restaurant Seasons, which had a rotating seasonal menu. In terms of presentations, guests could choose over 80 programs, including under categories such as animation, culinary, gardening, the great outdoors, photography, television, and youth. In 2000, Disney changed the focus from family-friendly programming to business professionals to learn the secrets behind the Disney customer service and business culture. This did not last long, however, as attendance was poor, and in 2003, the resort was closed down and rethemed to the Disney Saratoga Springs Resort, where it remains to this day. For those of you that are interested in some of the courses that were offered, uh, the book, Be Our Guest, Perfecting the Art of Customer Service, is from the Disney Institute course. So I obviously never attended any of these. They were gone long before I visited Walt Disney World for the first time. Uh, but it definitely seems like something interesting, and I would love to have taken some of these courses. So definitely something uh, missed, in my opinion. Uh, so thank you so much for joining us here on Disney Movie Investigation. I would love anyone to leave a comment below on what they think of the movie Battle of the Sexes. Also, if anyone did attend a course uh, offered by the Disney Institute, would love for you to comment below on what your experience was. So as we look forward to our next episode, we're going into the world of fantasy as we take a look at Roald Dahl's The BFG. So until next time, I hope you have a magical day and we will see you real soon.